Do you want free stuff? Are you one of those individuals that's always like scouring the web for free shit? <laughs> looking for free online programs or you know free downloads I think most everyone wants to find a good deal they're looking for free shit today I'm going to tell you why you should stop looking for the free stuff and that all is coming up right now You see, everyone wants the free stuff. I know as a teacher, I've spent a lot of time. Matter of fact, at one point, I had I ran a little online school and we gave all the classes away for free. Everybody wants free shit. And at least you think that they want free shit. And then you realize that people would just drop out. Why were they dropping out? Because it was free. They were dropping out of classes because it was free. They would literally go from one week telling me, my God, Silas, we love your classes, to the next week just not showing up. And I could not figure out why. The reason why was because they had no skin in the game. You see, you get what you pay for. The problem wasn't with what was being given to them as much as the problem with was with how they were receiving it. I want you to consider this. If you get what you pay for, do you really want the free stuff? Do you really want the free stuff? Don't you think that you're worth more than that? You see, everything is an exchange, is an investment of sorts. And the reason we struggle to invest, now picture this, we get this whole story, we're struggling to invest. We're going, man, I really want a good, I really want a good uh, software for editing photos. And then the other part of you is like, oh, well, I ain't paying $9.99 for it, I'll tell you that much. Oh, come on, man. I mean, I, I know, but I, I really want a good software. Well, let's just find a good free software. And then you scour the web and you spend about two hours looking for a free software that's not going to end up downloading some sort of virus on your computer or your iPhone. And you spend all that time. What was that time worth? All to save $9.99. Ask yourself, is it really worth it? And then later on, you end up having to pay the $9.99 because you wanted a program that did the things that that program offered, that that download offered. The bottom line is we get what we pay for. The struggle to invest exists in your mind because we've elevated money to be the, the end all of everything instead of recognizing that what we should be investing in is our passions. If we're passionate about something, then of course we should invest. The problem is we're giving all of our time, our energy, and our money to things that we're not passionate about. If you're passionate about creating a better life, then give your time, your energy, and your money to creating a better life. If you're passionate about uh, football, then give time, energy, and money into training to become a better football player, basketball player, parkour, athlete, musician, artist, whatever it is, give your time, your money, and your energy to what you're passionate about. Don't look. The second thing is this. Don't look at the output. There, you don't need to be... We're always bothered with how much we're giving, how much we're spending. Stop looking at what you're spending and let's start looking at what we're getting. You know, I was thinking about, I was watching the show, um, it's called Yellowstone. It's a, it's, a, it's a show, I think most people have heard of it. But there's this one scene, I think it's in the very first episode of the very first uh, season. And there's the scene in which this man was looking at his son, he was trying to get his son to basically take over the ranch, and, he, and his son wasn't thinking like a a rancher. He was thinking like a cowboy. And so he looked and he said, son, what do you see when you see that, that cow? And his son said, I see a, a cow that's going to feed my family and, um, and it's worth, you know, $200, $300, but it's going to feed my family. And he said, uh, he said, and you should see that way. That's how a cowboy would see. He said, but you know what, son, you know what I see? He said, I see a $200 investment that seven months from now is going to bring me $1,200. 
he wasn't looking at the output. He wasn't, oh man, I gave $200 for that cow. He was looking at the investment, at the return. As long as we're spending, like you go to the store and you wanted to buy a nice, you wanted to buy some clothes, but you're like, I don't want to spend $39 on that pair of jeans, even though it makes my ass look great. I'd rather spend $9.99 off the clearance rack. So you go to the clearance rack, you spend $9.99, but you don't get the same pair of jeans. So your ass don't look on point in that $9.99 pair of jeans. Was it worth it? Would have, if you had spent that $39.99, would it have been worth it when you were out at the bar, at the club, or wherever, if your ass had been like, pow, pow? Would it have been worth it? Just ask yourself. You see, we get what we pay for. We need to always have skin in the game. Stop looking for free stuff and start realizing that when you give your time, your energy, and your money to the things that you're passionate about, when, in other words, when you get skin in the game, then and only then we'll see a greater return. If you're investing, how many of you would have liked to invest in uh, Coca-Cola when it first took off, right? And there are a lot of people that are like, well, I invested 25 cents. Imagine if they had invested 100, if they had really put some skin in the game. To make an investment, you have to give something. But I'm encouraging you not just give a little bit, but to go balls deep in your invest in the investments you have in your passions about your life, rediscovering your passions, discovering the lifestyle of your dreams, creating the personality of your dreams, being artistic when it comes to life, go balls deep when you put skin in the game when you give all of your when you give your time your energy and your money you really invest these things that equals productivity plain and simple you will get an incredible return on investment if you're given time energy and money and you're really investing yourself in your work you have a crazy return on your investment. If you're giving your time, your energy, and your money to a lover, to a spouse, to multiple lovers, you will have beautiful returns on investment. They will feel valued, cared for, loved. If you are giving your time and your energy and your money into uh, being what you want to become, like uh, a musician, um, an athlete, uh, an entrepreneur, then you will ultimately get a return on your investment. However, if you want to be a phenomenal CEO and you're out there looking for free courses on leadership, guess what? You're probably not going to be a phenomenal CEO. You're going to be a borderline average CEO. But if you really give your money to coaching from some serious coaches and you invest not only your money, but your time and your energy into applying what these coaches will share with you, then you will become a phenomenal CEO because you will ha get a return on investment. I love you. Hope you have a beautiful fucking day. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.